Good morning. So the last time I had mentioned that over the next few devotionals, I would like to give a scripture passage and then a story and a testimony that goes along with that scripture passage. So this morning I want to read out of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, and it says, But in your hearts set apart Christ as Lord, Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. And a lot of times that word answer is interpreted as defense. And when we mention defense, now we're getting into a discipline called apologetics. When I think of apologetics or defending the faith, giving an answer for the joy, the peace, and the hope that is in you, I think of one person, and that is a cousin of mine that I have been great friends with since I was a teenager. After our grandmother died, me and my cousin became really good friends. We spent a lot of time together in our high school years and beyond. And I will confess that there were some really stupid things that we did. And let's just say, too, that we weren't really mentating the best in those moments. And I will just leave it at that. Now, my cousin went on to work for a trucking outfit. That's basically what I'll say. And, of course, I went into the ministry. And back, oh, around 2010... My cousin went through the fight of a lifetime. This is kind of the fear of every parent. My cousin is married, has a, uh, a few kids, and his youngest daughter uh, was diagnosed with leukemia. And if you've ever been through a situation like that, you know how debilitating it can be deep within your soul. And through this um, moment in life, my cousin gave his life to Christ, and then we went into a Bible study for, I think, four years. He and I met together uh, once a week for four years, and I could see his life grow in Christ, and I could see a passion develop for the Word of God. And then, unfortunately, his schedule changed, and then we weren't able to meet again. And let me just add a note. His daughter is doing great today. Leukemia gone. She is doing wonderful. Praise God. Now back to my cousin. When we stopped meeting once a week for Bible study, I had kind of wondered what would happen to him. And man, his faith just continued to grow. And he started doing his own studies. He started uh, listening to guys via podcasts and uh, sermons. And he even got into things like textual criticism. Now, maybe you've not ever heard of that. But textual critics are people that study the ancient manuscripts of the Bible. And they try to figure out the exact wording of the Bible from the originals. Um, I mean, it's a really heady type discipline. He started getting into that, and he also has a love for apologetics. And so his faith has just exploded, and uh, he has developed a real love for the Word of God. In his workplace, he is known as the resident Christian. He is just surrounded by people that have lived some very rough lives, and these are totally unchurched people. And you know, I'm used to people coming up to me, they know I'm a pastor, and they kind of watch their language, and if they let a word or two slip, they just kind of, oh, I'm sorry, you know, as if I've never heard those words before. And he gets the same at his workplace, like, oh, man, I'm sorry, I just swore. And it's like, okay, yeah, I've heard those words before. But then people seek him out and try to pick his brain because he's very open about his faith. And he's literally become the resident pastor at his workplace. Let me tell you, my cousin is as much of a pastor as I am today. And he has so much given a defense for the gospel 
and for the word of God and for his faith. And he is the, a great model and inspiration of this verse. And you know, you can do the same. You know, living our lives with Jesus at the forefront can be scary, but it can be fun. It can be fun the way you can impact people around you with the gospel. And I'm just going to encourage you today to take that plunge. Put your faith out in the front. Don't be ashamed of what Jesus has done for you. And always, as the passage says, give a defense and a reason for the hope and the joy that is in you. God bless you and have a great day.